So the temps are getting cooler, the leaves are changing, and that means fall is finally here. I thought I would give you guys a fall update on my gravel casual cyclist guide. This is what I wear, this is what I like, some recommendations for cycling in these cooler temperatures. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers, and if you're new to the channel, if you're into the non-competitive side of cycling, riding party pace, and living this up a life, you have found your people, hit that subscribe button. If you guys have been enjoying this content, consider supporting the channel, we've got some fun new merch, these party pace pins, and a gravel specific patch. So one of the first things I grab once the temperature starts to cool down is a base layer. I've been really enjoying this uh, merino wool base layer from Surly, actually. They sell base layers and wool jerseys. And this is my second season using this base layer and it has stayed relatively soft and supple and is a great layer to sweat through but still stay warm and big plus because it's wool it does fight odors. For when things are still in that transition to transitional phase where I don't need a full-on long sleeve base layer uh, I've been also wearing this REI merino wool base layer a little bit easier to find at your local REI Again, still nice, soft, and supple. I actually like to wear this on its own sometimes when climbing up to the top of the trails, you know, you get hot and sweaty, and this makes a good outer layer as well as a base layer. All right, moving on. So once things start dipping into the 40s and upper 30s, out comes the big guns. Uh, this is a wool long sleeve jersey by Surly. I reviewed this last year and it's still one of my go-to pieces during the fall. I don't typically wear jerseys during the summer because I find them too warm, but I do tend to wear them in the cooler months because they keep me really warm. So what's great about this jersey is that it is a full zip jersey, so you can open it up when you get warm on top of the climb. It's a mid-weight jersey, so not the thickest thing, but perfect for when you are expending some energy, generating some heat, and this will keep you warm. And on the back of the jersey, it does have kind of this uh, game style pocket, if you will, uh, with, with two zippers and you can put gloves or extra layers back here. So this is my second season with the Surly Wool Jersey and it's still looking good, hasn't overly stretched, it still keeps me warm in the cooler months and is a great kind of transitional layer uh, during the fall. In terms of the bottoms, I typically wear just a pretty basic pearl Izumi uh, bib short and still in the fall, I am still wearing these chrome uh, Madrona shorts. I did a separate video on these shorts. They, they are a little bit on the spendy side at $90, but I have pretty much worn these shorts every single day during the summer. I got a review sample and actually bought a second pair because I love them so much. And between those two shorts, I've been wearing them the entire summer. They've still held up pretty well. There's no uh, fraying at the hem. Uh, there is some slight uh, discoloration from the sun because I've been wearing it every day, but otherwise it's held up at shape. Pro Madrona shorts, I don't know if they're back in stock yet, but if they are, definitely pick up a pair. One thing that I do add to the bottoms during the fall are some uh, knee or leg warmers, and my favorites are the wool ones from Defeat. They're not too expensive. They come in two lengths, so if you want it to stop just below your knee or a full leg version that goes down to your ankle, they got you covered. They're pretty soft and supple and their leg bands uh, tend to hold pretty well as long as you put it beneath uh, your bike shorts. It just keeps it in place a little bit better. So definitely my go-to. I like that you can wear these uh, at the start of the ride when you're just warming up and you can take them off when things start to get hot and put them back on on the descent. So a great addition when you don't want to go full on, you know, full length bib short. Okay, so the next piece is this shirt. This is the uh, Club Ride Shaka long sleeve uh, top. I wear this pretty often casually, but do take it on rides as well. This is a great layer for when things aren't as cold where I would need the jersey or a pretty casual ride or commuting around town where we're not drilling it on the bike. Again, this is my second year with this. Uh, I do really enjoy it. You know, I wear it a lot on the YouTube channel, obviously. I think my only real gripe with it is the chest pocket. It's got a zippered pocket here, and it's not quite big enough to fit a phone. I think in this day and age, in 2020, if you're gonna make cycling specific stuff, all the pockets should accommodate a phone. Other than that, great piece. You'll probably see it more often on the channel. Okay, so winding down to the last two pieces, uh, this is a pair of pants that was sent to me for a review. I'm gonna do probably a longer review on it a little bit later, but it is by the brand Libsyn. And this pant falls under the active slash travel pant. It's a lightish canvas material that has a DWR coating 
and a good amount of elasticity. What I like about it is that it does have a gusseted crotch. It's got little darts for an articulating knee here. And on the rear, it's got pockets that also have zippers, which are key to any cycling pant or short, in my opinion. And on the legs, you can roll it up. It's got a button to hold it in place with a little reflective strap there. So if you, if you wanna ride this on your bike and you don't wanna get your lower pant leg dirty, you can do that. Since these have come in, I've been wearing them every single day and I might actually buy another pair because I do like them that much. They come in nice colors. This is a olive. They've got a sand and a kind of brown as well as a black. The material is a little on the thick side. I'd say it's lighter than a, a denim jean, but definitely not as light as a poly hiking pant. So I probably wouldn't do long rides on this, but it would make a great kind of casual and everyday commuter pant. Another piece that was sent into the channel is this very luxurious, supple and warm alpaca hoodie. I might just put this on. So this is made by a brand called uh, App Gear. I believe it's short for Appalachian Gear. It was sent into the channel to uh, review. So I've been familiar with alpaca wool, have not owned any pieces uh, with it. And I have to say, this, this is super, super plush. It's really light, but also incredibly warm. Although it looks like kind of a, a nice casual piece, it is intended for outdoor activity. So for climbing, running, or even cycling, I think this would make an awesome piece at camp at the end of a cool night of bikepacking. And the, and the material is really hard to describe. It's not quite like wool where it's a tighter knit. This feels pretty fibrous and because of that it just traps so much heat for its weight. So if you're looking for a lightweight, a casual layer or even active layer that's incredibly warm, definitely check out App Gear. And lastly, what fall clothing video would be complete without mentioning the buff? That's right, it is buff season. So if you're not familiar, these are basically a neck gaiter that you put over your neck and it adds an incredible amount of warmth. Sometimes I wear two, one around my neck and one around my ears, and it's amazing what that does in terms of body temperature. These of course come in synthetic materials as well as wool. And during the fall, I still pretty much wear the synthetic ones, but once it starts to dip into the 30s, the wool ones come out uh, to really keep that heat in. I don't want to go too deep into the buff. I have multiple videos about it and why I love it. But yeah, it's, it's buff season. So this is what I like to wear during the fall. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Have you tried any of these pieces? What are your thoughts on them? I'm sure you will let me know. Consider supporting the channel on Patreon or buying one of our new pins and patches, all that good stuff. And as always, keep the supple side down.